Hey everybody, I have a video here for you today. Now I've been looking at some comments and messages and looking at some ancient news reports. I haven't really looked at ancient history for a few days, but I came across a story here that I thought was more than interesting. Elongated skulls is something I haven't covered on my channel for a long time, but there is a new report that came out today about a find in China. Let's just do a little reading here. It says, East Asians may have been reshaping their skulls 12,000 years ago. It says, ancient tombs in China have produced what may be some of the oldest known human skulls to be intentionally reshaped. At a site called Huduamuga, scientists unearthed 25 skeletons dating to between 12,000 years old and 5,000 years old. Of those, 11 featured skulls with artificially elongated brain cases and flattened bones. At the front and back of the heads, it says skull modification occurred over a longer stretch of time at the site than at any other archaeological dig, the researchers report online June 25th in the American Jour Journal of Physical Anthropology. But it goes on to say, oddly shaped, intensely modified skulls have been found in many parts of the world. Claims from the 1980s that two, roughly 45,000 year old Neanderthal skulls had been reshaped early in life had been dismissed by many early researchers. The earliest skulls with generally accepted signs of cranial, cranial modification date to between 13,000 and 10,000 years ago in Western Asia, Southeastern Australia, and now East Asia. In the Americas, this practice began more than 8,000 years ago. Now the skulls I'm showing here, this comes from a 6,000 year old man here. And then the other pick, the one on the left comes from a 12,000 year old man that says, that evidence suggests that his skull was elongated on purpose. And here is a 5,000 year old woman on the right. These are skulls found in the same region of China that uh, range in dates about 7,000 years from 5,000 years ago to 12,000 years ago. It says Hutuamugu was excavated from 2011 to 2015. A man's skeleton with a modified skull was found in a tomb dating to between 13,000 and 11,000 years ago based on styles of pottery found in the same sediment layer. Radiocarbon dating of the skeleton placed it around 12,000 years old. Two sediment layers dating to between 6,300 years old and 5,000 years old contain 10 skeletons with reshaped skulls. It says, of the five modified adult skulls, four came from men and one came from a woman. Estimated ages at death for the 11 individuals range from three years old to 40. Then they talk about high status individuals. It says a three-year-old child with a reshaped brain case was buried with large amounts of pottery and other artifacts, suggesting the youngster came from a rich family. And that came from a long time ago. Numerous shell ornaments placed on a woman with an elongated skull likely denoted her high status, and an adult and an adolescent with modified skulls were buried together, suggesting that the two may have came from the same family. And I know Brian Forster has talked about this subject a lot as far as these skulls being found in Peru and some strange mysteries involving some of them. So if you have any good links, please leave those below. And I will leave this story below and also talks about some other finds here. But I think this is pretty interesting. 12,000 years ago is a long time. But this seems to be a practice that was carried on in different parts of the world, including the ancient Americas. But if you have any good links below, please leave them. But I thought this was a pretty interesting story. And I haven't talked about elongated skulls for a long time, so I thought I'd talk about this today. Hope you thought that was cool, and you all have a very nice day.